hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new my name is pauline i am a polymer clay artist and also an illustrator i run a clay business on etsy and in this video pretty much i'm going to be laying down my 2024 goals regarding to like clay in general like working with clay and also my small business <laughs> my goal for that and we are going to start off with a couple pieces well i guess i'm going to be working on one today a couple pieces that i want to be adding to my shop so anyway join me let's get to it i kind of just want to show you guys what i have in my sketchbook that i sketched out that i want to scope to add to my shop most of this is like a little bit of valentine because february is on its way so i wanted to make a little bit of a collection i haven't really done that i kind of was just sporadically making stuff that i want to add to my shop and also fan um fan i don't you call it fan art i guess it is fan art like sculpting wise where i make like ghibli a lot of ghibli inspired pieces and one pokemon inspired pieces but yeah so i kind of like want to branch out to make my own thing <clears throat> so i kind of like did a little bit of sketching to figure out what i like and what i want to include in my shop so i kind of like sketch these out i don't know if you guys can see it so i'll put it kind of close to the camera it's like a box of chocolate this one <laughs> And then you have these, like a lot of mushroom and frogs inspirations there. And if you can see it, maybe this is not the best way to show this, but I feel like I haven't really done a lot of keychains um, for my shop. Initially when I started, I did pins and I did a couple keychains, but then I took those off because I didn't really like them because I feel like my my sculpting have improved so much since i started in february like i started sculpting in february um of course i've been practicing since last february to, oh, i say last february. i guess by the time this video goes up it's going to be the first of 2024 january 1st of 2024 so i guess you can say last february because right now i'm filming this it's still december 30 i think 31st right now so anyways yeah so i started in February 2023 sometime around there February or like March 2023 um started like I got into clay polymer clay in general and I fell in love with it and I love working um with it so I started practicing so yeah of course my initial creations were not up to par to what I like but I still like them at that point you know because I just started and I like my you know like when you make an art piece and to your knowledge you're like oh my gosh this is better than what i made before and it's just like your skills keep improving so at that point i liked it because like i i did that like come on like that's my first thing that i did and i loved it and it actually looked decent to me and as my skill improved i'm like okay i need to take this down because I don't want to sell something that i don't like anymore especially because like, my skills have improved and i want to put up something better but i haven't really done any keychains i've been doing more of like trinket trays jewelry dishes and all that stuff so now i kind of like want to dive more into like keychains wearable objects like keychains and of course the little desk figures because i don't haven't really done a lot of those apart from like doing the jewelry dishes like i said so yeah some of these are like desk figures and some of them could also be turned like this is a desk figure but he can also be turned into a keychain as well and yeah so i kind of like this is my plan for i guess for the next couple weeks because i want to put out my valentine's day collection and regular stuff that i want to have as a staple piece to my shop so yeah i hope you guys can join me in this journey this might change but for this video we are going to be working on this piece it's a desk figure so i got some clays from michael that's going to help me with the stuff i'm going to be sculpting so let's unpack that i have like a whole well it's not a lot but i guess it is a lot i have like a whole clay in this bag right now that we are going to unpack let's do that <laughs> Thank you. 
So these are the browns that I have. And then I got a couple greens because like the frogs, of course, are going to be green. And like I said, the foliage, the linden, you know, I think I have four or six of this shade. Yeah, I have like six of this shade. And then I got like a grassy green. I love this green. So I was like, all right, we're going to grab this. I, do, I don't really like working with Scopey 3, but what can you do? So that's the greens that I have. And then I have this lovely red i saw it i was like oh my gosh so pretty this one and this one it's like a wine color red it's so beautiful so i grabbed it so this one these two i think these are the only red wait no no no. i have more actually more of this one so i bought four of these four of these red and then i got this wine color red beautiful these are like what i felt like i need for the for most of this from my sketches i feel like this is the main colors that I'm, i might need for them so i can always go back and get more but i just figure let's start off with these colors and we can go from there of course i already have white so i don't need to buy white so i'm gonna be adding white to some of these i already have white i already have black so i don't need to buy white i have like a lot of white clay so so these are all the stuff i grabbed from michael's last night and we are going to get started with Scopedin. Mm -hmm. 